Welcome back guys. So in this episode we will be creating these random generated islands. Uh, this episode builds upon a previous one that I did where we generated just one island. So if you haven't watched that, I'll leave a link in the description and uh, you can have a look at that. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so we start off by heading into our sandbox script. And we can start off by remove these rows. A couple of things that we did in the previous episode, as well as those rows. Whoops. This one as well, and this one. And if we run the, if we run it now, we should only get a terrain, no islands, and that is good. Perfect. So. Um, we will start off by creating a new function called generate map texture. And we create a new image that will uh, represent the map and hold uh, all the islands. So image.create uh, size, size, false, and format. Uh, will be format RGBA8. Perfect. And image.fill. I don't need if you need, I don't know if you need to do this, but let's give it a white color. So we need to declare some constants. So first of all, we'll change the value to uh, 1000 for the world size and for each island. We give it a size of 200 and let's create four islands for now. We can also create an array called uh, available, available grid slots. So this array will hold each available grid to generate a new island on. Um, so first of all, we, we need to initialize the the, the array. So for x in int size divided by island size. The same goes for the y. So available grid slots dot pushback vector to x and y. So for the first island we will gener we will be generating uh, every slot will be available. So for each island, let's create a gradient as we did in the previous episode. So var text equals custom gradient texture dot new text dot gradient. We give it a gradient. Uh, we give it a type, and the type will be custom gradient dot gradient type dot radial and we need to provide a size as well and this will of course be island size the same for the y uh, we updated as well I'm not even sure if you need to do this um, with the custom gradient texture but just just do it for the sake of it okay so first we need to retrieve the data because we will be uh, we will be reading and writing. So int oh text get data. We lock it. And once we've done this, we will get an index from the array that we declared above. So index equals Rand range from the first position in the array to the last. Oops, size minus one. So we get a random position in the in the grid. We retrieve the position from the index and we remove it. Once we, once we have the position, we can merge 
the gradient into our image. So let's do that by call image dot blit rect data data dot get used rect. So we get the full image and replace it on position times island size. And we unlock the data and we return the image. And I think that is it for the generated map texture. So we can change the function to generate islands. That's more convenient for now. And let's get the map texture. So more image map equals generate map texture. And once we have that, we can call image.lock. Whoops. Image map dot lock. We get the gradient from var uh, var gradient value. We get it from image map dot get pixel from vertex dot x plus size times zero point five, just as we did in the previous episode. Just offset it vertex.z plus size times 0.5 and we can get the red value and image map unlock it once we have the gradient value we just subtract it from the value gradient value the image over here we need to add one to the size of it And once we have done that, we have one island, two islands, and three islands. Whoa, four islands, four islands. We can lower the water. So let's head into sandbox. Uh, let's just lower the water a little bit, something like that, and run it. Oops, maybe a little too much. So let's raise the water level once again. And I think I would like to multiply um, let's see multiply this value with let's say 1.1 1 .1 or something so there's an island one island two islands three islands and four islands that's awesome let's generate a couple of more islands let's say uh, five islands okay so this is it. These are the islands. Uh, and if you like it, just, just leave a like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, peace out.